going on everyone? It's your average consumer. And today I have an unboxing video for you guys of the new iPad mini 3. And you might have noticed these guys. We just showed up. <laughs> so over here we've got Marquez, MKBHD, Austin Evans, not Duncan. And right. we've got TLD. John. John. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I do have a name. No, no, I'm just messing with you. It's John from really? TLD. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> but we've got all these guys to unbox this special iPad mini 3. Is it special? Yes, it's very it's special. It's golden. It is special in a way. Or is it the iPad mini 2.1? 2.0.1. Alright, so let's start the unboxing. Enough messing around. So let's open this thing up. So you guys are excited about this, right? Yeah. Top number one product of the year. I've been waiting for this. See, the thing is, I was excited yeah. about it because I use my iPad mini 2 Retina now, like all the time. So, waiting for the next iPad mini, gotta get pumped about it. I'm ready for the spec bump, I'm ready for the A8X. Uh, but this is what we got, so we'll take a look at it. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Apple spent a total of what? Five seconds talking about it. I've been mini. It's oh, gold. By the way, there's a the mini three. It was one slide, right? Yeah, one slide. Yeah, just one slide. So here it is, and let's take it out. That feels, gold though. Yeah, feels very much the same. You guys want to see the new stuff? Much thicker than the iPad Air. Much yeah. thicker now. It's yes. a lot. It's a lot thicker than the new this, iPad Air too. This is a new camera, right? No, it, has, it still has the same camera. Same. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't seen the iPad Air unboxed, we actually unboxed it on John's channel, so you make sure to go check that out. And um, yeah, so you get the typical stuff. You've got the lightning cable. You've got some warranty information and stickers, of course. Stickers are the most important part of this entire package. Of course. Stickers. Yeah. Kind of important. And of course, the wall adapter inside here. But let's get to this guy. Let's unwrap it and get it that they don't ship the 12 watt. It's still the older 10 watt. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of weird they wouldn't ship the, the better charger with it. Yeah, well, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not too surprised. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. think Apple would ship an outdated part? <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this thing on. So it's interesting that they didn't actually update like the, the home button is still on the top. Because they moved it to the side on the 6 and 6 Plus. You would think that the iPads are even bigger, that would make sense, right? iPad's right. still two-handed though. Right. I guess they're, they're yeah. thinking people will use it like this or... I don't know, I just never found that the sleep wake button being on the top of the iPad made much sense. Just because uh, the, the iPhones are supposed to still be one-handed, so in order to still have that all in one hand, you need everything reachable in right. the same one-handed position. So, so I figure you can hold it like this all day long. But yeah, iPads are still two-handed devices, so I'm not sure if they're too concerned about button yeah. placement. Wait, wait, can we talk about the gold for a second? Yeah. That is a yeah. very distinct... Shade of gold. Yeah. The what do you guys think about that? Like, uh, I mean, I've I've never been crazy about gold, uh, especially because it has the white front. Right, white bezels. Right. So I like to have it black, especially when watching movies. So this has never appealed to me. Silver yeah. iPad also has a white front. Yep. And yeah. Space Gray has a black front. That's a, it's it's weird that it's all white. I don't know. I mean, I I get white and gold looks decent. But that's kind of a weird choice. I don't know. What do you think, John? I've always preferred a black bezel. Yeah. Um, but the gold does, I will say, it looks better in person. Yeah. Like, I, I saw, like, the, you know, the keynote and the pictures. It's like gold on an iPad. Like, on an iPhone, it's one thing. It's, like, it's kind of small, but it's hard to get that on camera because it's a pale right. gold. It's not, like, mm -hmm. the most vibrant, Champagne. colorful. Right, right. right. Champagne, kind of like a tan. It still pops, but it's not, in like, your face. yeah, exactly. Flav flavor flav. It's not ostentatious. Well, it, I see what you're <laughs> 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 You've been planning that one. <laughs> well, I do, I... Don't think it looks bad. Not my cup of tea, for sure, but it definitely doesn't look bad. For those who like it, I do think it would probably, it'll be just fine. Now, as far as the things that come with, the new things that come with this. Long list here, to prepare things. yourself. Get your pen and paper down. Okay. We've got Touch ID. Finally, I've been waiting for this for literally no time at all, because I never thought about it. And if you want the gold version, you've got gold. So, yeah! so the thing about Touch ID on tablets, so we talked about this in the other video, but you can't, there's no like multiple account support, Profiles. there's no guest profile, you, right. can't, you can't have multiple people with multiple fingerprints, so it's still mm -hmm. nice to be able to log in with Touch ID, but Touch ID on a tablet stops there, like yep. there's no other incentive. So I feel like if you have an iPad mini 2 Retina, you're probably already thinking this, there's almost no reason to upgrade unless you're dying to get Touch ID yeah. or you're dying to get gold. It's the same exact processor. 
Right. Everything. So, okay, another question. What if you don't have an iPad mini, you want an iPad mini, this versus the Retina, which is still on uh, sale, as well as the actual original iPad mini is also on sale. That's what, like $50 less? So, this is 400 the iPad mini is 300 and the iPad, original, like, OG iPad mini is 250 Non-Retina yeah. is 250 Yeah. Yeah. The first gen Retina is 300 yeah. Right. That seems like a good deal. I would and get this that. is 400 So basically, you're paying $100 more for Touch, touch ID. ID. At, so, that, at that point, you need to go to the Air. I mean, it makes no sense. Yeah. Actually, you know what? The original iPad Mini Retina just got a lot better. So you're still getting that, that iPad experience. It's actually, you almost think about the iPad Mini just got a price cut. It's now $300 and they just didn't update it. If you ignore this, this doesn't exist. <laughs> if you really want gold and Touch ID, <laughs> then it might it's, be not that it, it's not that it went up in price. Right, because it's the same price as last year's. But the weird thing is, is that yeah, last right. year, the Air and the Mini, same chip, mm -hmm. right? They came out with the A8X on the right. Air 2. Okay, that's cool, but at least throw the A8 on yes. the Mini 3. Basically, they updated the iPad Air with all the new specs and all the new stuff that you would expect every year, and the iPad Mini, they just kind of skipped over. They threw Touch ID and called it a day. So this isn't even worthy of being called an iPad Mini Three. 2S. 2S. 2S, yeah. no, I not, mean, not even 2S. It's, it's just such a weak upgrade. I think that's the problem. Right. I mean, it's still a good tablet. I still like the iPad Mini, but you look at the iPad Air, it, there are a lot of things that make it, I mean, it's thinner, that's the thing. it's more powerful. I, I still love the tablet. It's still a great tablet, and I still love it. I just wish they entered the, the uh, upgraded the internals. Yeah, just a little bit. So <laughs> it's definitely not worth the upgrade if you have the iPad Mini right. 2. Not worth the upgrade. Right. But if you're a first-time buyer, it really comes to a personal preference, I guess, yeah. whether Touch ID is worth it for you. I personally, I think a lot of us can agree, it's not really worth the hundred. I like Touch ID. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of cool stuff you can I do with it, it. But a hundred bucks. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. If, if money's not an option to you, you just got just it. Just making it rain. <laughs> Why not? Also, another nine-inch tablet coming out. It's a little bigger, somewhere in between that and the iPad Air. That Nexus right. Nine is coming out. Right. It has the same resolution display. Has front-facing speakers. Uh, it's Android, so make of it what you may, but I'm just saying. <laughs> that was a loaded sentence right there. It's also four hundred dollars. It's also four hundred dollars. It looks yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Front facing speakers, I want. Big deal on tablet. So if you guys want to see Jenner unbox that, hit that like button. Yeah. Yes. Honestly guys, there's not that much different. There's not much that more there's not much more we can go over here. <laughs> so that's about it. Let's call it a wrap. Right? Alright. We have Marquez here. He uh, you can go find his channel down below, Austin's channel down below. John's channel down below. TLD's channel. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's about it. I'll have everyone's channels and links down below in the description. Definitely want to give a huge shout out to all of them for helping me let you guys know that it's not worth the upgrade. Not worth it. Until next video, guys. It's your average consumer. Peace. That's the SMKBHP's line. <laughs> I'm not the first person to say peace. Actually, SKB. Yeah, yeah, yeah.